Can a house be too airtight? Well, as usual, it depends. Airtightness is one of the most important factors when it comes to moisture control in a building, as well as for indoor air quality. The idea being that, in order to control the air within the interior environment, you must enclose the air within. To give you some perspective on how much moisture can move in and out of a building through air leakage, a recent report was released which found that a 1 square inch hole within a 4x8 sheet of drywall transported the equivalent of 23.75 gallons of water over the course of a heating season in a cold climate, with the interior side pressurized at 10 pascals at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 40% relative humidity. Air as a transport mechanism for moisture in the form of vapor can either work for you or against you. In regions and climates with large temperature and humidity extremes between the interior condition space and the outdoor environment, the importance of airtightness matters significantly more. Now, many people incorrectly believe that an airtight home will not allow the inhabitants or the building to breathe, when in reality, we are using mechanical ventilation to bring in fresh air rather than to pull air through incidental air leaks and cracks in the building. The idea being that we can control the air that's coming in from a dedicated location, filter it, temper it, dehumidify it, and distribute it to the conditioned space, rather than from an unknown source like through the crawl space or through an unconditioned attic. If you're sensitive to dust, pollen, or other allergens or air contaminants, like wildfire smoke or smog, an airtight building with proper mechanical ventilation is one of the best ways you can mitigate indoor air pollutants. This is called source control. Mechanical ventilation is not just a simple bathroom exhaust fan. It's usually a relatively balanced system of filtered supply air and return air or exhaust. This ties us back to the initial question, can a house be too airtight? In some situations, the answer is yes. The most common example of this would be an older home with existing atmospherically vented combustion equipment like furnaces, wood stoves, or hot water heaters that take in ambient air to complete the combustion process rather than through a direct vented system. If the house is well air sealed with atmospherically vented combustion equipment located within the condition space, this can place the home under negative pressure since the air is being taken in and used up by the atmospherically vented systems. This negative pressure environment that's been induced by this equipment can cause backdrafting of carbon monoxide, particularly as a result of an incomplete combustion process, which can be extremely deadly. As we discussed before, airtight homes also need a well-balanced mechanical ventilation system. Having an imbalanced system that's heavy on exhaust ventilation will place the home under negative pressure, and so having adequate makeup air is just as important to make sure that the air that replaces the air that left the building is still coming from a controlled location, not through an air leak. This also applies if the home is overpressurized, which will push air out of the building through any air leaks or imperfections that occur in the assemblies. In warm, humid climates, it can be beneficial to operate at a slight positive pressure to help keep moisture-laden air out of the home. In cold climates, operating at a slight negative pressure can prevent warm, moisture-laden air from the interior from inundating the backside of the sheathing, or any holes in the sheathing or at the building seams. Air tightness, in combination with mechanical ventilation, significantly helps to control the interior environment. If you can control the air within the interior environment or the interior pressure boundary, we can ensure long-term durability, occupant health, and performance. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more weekly building science videos and head over to our website at asiri-designs.com where we have over 150 free building science articles that cover a wide range of topics. Links will be in the description below. For now, good luck with your projects. Cheers.